This is Radio Nepal. I'm Gaushal Kimide with the news. The headlines first. Ruling parties discuss contemporary issues including budget for coming fiscal year. Government thanks all parties helping Nepal win legal case against Exieta Group over capital gain tax. World Blood Donor Day today and more than 100 people feared dead in boat capsize in Nigeria. Now the news in detail. Leaders of the ruling part- parties yesterday discussed contemporary issues including the budget. During the meeting held at the Prime Minister's official residence in Balwatar, the parties agreed to meet again and exchange views on the budget and other contemporary issues. It may be noted that ruling partners CPN Unified Socialist and Janta Samazwadi Party have expressed their concerns over some points in the budget for the upcoming fiscal year. Top leaders of the ruling parties, including Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dahal Prachanda, were among those present in the meeting yesterday. The government has thanked all who helped the government of Nepal fight and win a legal case against Exieta Group over a capital gain tax issue. Exieta Group is a parent company of the private telecommunications company Ansel in Nepal. The group on the 20th of May 2019 had filed a case at the International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes against the Nepal government claiming damages worth 500 million US dollars. However, the international body issued its verdict on the side of the government of Nepal last Friday, unveiling the cabinet's decisions yesterday. Minister for Law, Justice and Parliamentary Affairs Thanaraj Gurung said Nepal saved more than 60 billion rupees after getting the verdict in its favour. On a different note, Minister Gurung said the cabinet meeting also discussed the discontentment of some ruling partners over the budget for the coming fiscal year. He added that the next meeting would have a comprehensive discussion on the matter. The national flag carrier Nepal Airlines has launched a commercial flight targeting the Gautam Buddha International Airport in Bhairahawa after 13 months of operation of the airport. Nepal Airlines 158-seater landed at the Gautam Buddha International Airport at 9.45 a.m. yesterday with 90 passengers from Malaysia. Meanwhile, inaugurating the Nepal Airlines Corporation's commercial flight at the airport yesterday, Tourism Minister Sudan Kirati said the government attached top priority to the need for regular commercial operation of the airport as it was constructed with the aim of promoting the identity and heritage of the Lumbini province globally. The seventh edition of the International Partnership for Technology in Peacekeeping Symposium began in Kathmandu yesterday. The four-day event, themed Harnessing Technology for Digital Transformation, was inaugurated by Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Defence, Purnabhadur Kharka. The event, hosted by the Department of Operational Support and the Office of Information and Communications Technology, United Nations, in cooperation with the Government of Nepal, has brought 230 participants from 47 countries, including 42 UN member nations and 11 different UN peacekeeping missions together. Addressing the event... The UN Under Secretary General Atul Khare said the symposium would be instrumental to use the IT sector to save the lives of the people. The Supreme Court has issued a show cause order on the case related to the management of child soldiers who took part in the armed conflict in Nepal. The single bench of Justice Sapana Pradhan Malla issued the order yesterday in the name of Prime Minister and CPN Maoist Centre Chair Pushpa Kamal Dahal and the then leader of the party Baburam Bhatrai. During the combatant integration process led by the United Nations in Nepal, child soldiers were excluded from the cantonments. Now, as representatives of child soldiers in the conflict, Lenin Bister and the group have filed a case demanding proper management of the then child soldiers. The province assembly meeting of Sudur Paschim province held yesterday passed the provincial government's policies and programs for the fiscal year 2080-81 Bikram Samut with the majority. 
after the deliberations on the government's policies and programs. Speaker Bhimbadur Bhandari tabled a proposal for decision which was passed with a majority. Similarly, a majority of the Provincial Assembly has uh, passed the policy and programs presented by the Lumbini Province Government. The majority of the Assembly passed the policy and program in the House meeting of the Lumbini Province held yesterday. National Assembly Chairperson Ganesh Prasad Timilsina held a meeting with the Chinese People's Political Consultation Congress Chair Wang Hu Ning yesterday. Chairman Timil Sina, who is on an official visit to China, met Chairman Ning at the Great Hall of the People in Beijing. During the meeting, Chair Timil Sina reiterated Nepal's commitment to one China policy. While Chair Ning said Nepal said China wanted Nepal to stop any possible anti-Chinese activities in its land. World Blood Donor Day is being observed across the world, including Nepal, today with various public awareness programs. This global event, celebrated on June 14th each year, aims to raise awareness about the importance of safe blood and blood products while expressing gratitude to voluntary unpaid blood donors for their life-saving contributions. This year's theme, Give Blood, Give Plasma, Share Life, Share Often, uh, emphasizes the role that each individual can play in saving lives by donating blood and plasma to those in need. It also underscores the significance of a sustainable and secure supply of blood and plasma through regular donations. To mark the occasions, in numerous organizations and hospitals across the country are conducting public sensitization campaigns, donor motivation initiatives and blood donation programs. You're listening to Radio Nepal's ATM English News Bulletin, now on to some international updates. As many as 100 people are believed to have been killed in Nigeria in an accident on the river Niger after a boat capsized on Monday. An Al Jazeera report quotes an eyewitness as saying the boat was carrying wedding guests. The boat is supposed to have hit something underwater. According to the report, search and rescue operations have been ongoing since Monday. Police are yet to confirm how many people have died or how many were on board the boat, which was reportedly overloaded. India and Pakistan are bracing for the first severe cyclone of the year expected to hit the South Asian countries this week. Authorities are making emergency preparations as the cyclone in the Arabian Sea approaches their coastal regions. According to Al Jazeera, the Indian Indian Meteorological Department said the cyclone is expected to hit Pakistan and India's coast uh, tomorrow evening. As per the report, even before the cyclone made landfall, it has already killed three people in India. Now, the general weather forecast for the country for Today, the Meteorological Forecasting Division says the weather will be partly to generally cloudy in Kosi province, Madhes province, Bagmati province and Gandaki province along with the hilly regions of the country. It will be partly cloudy to mainly fair in the rest of the nation. Light to moderate rain with thunder and lightning is also likely to occur in some places of Kosi province, Madhes province, Bagmati province and Gandaki province and brief thunder showers are expected at one or two places in the hilly regions of the rest of the country. With this we have almost come to the end of this news bulletin but before wrapping up let's have a reminder of the headlines once again. Ruling parties discuss contemporary issues including budget for coming fiscal year. Government thanks all parties helping Nepal win legal case against Exieta Group over capital gain tax. World Blood Donor Day today and more than 100 people fear dead in boat capsize in Nigeria. Well, that's all the news we have for this bulletin. Our next bulletin in English will be at 2 in the afternoon. You can also listen to us online at our website, www.onlineradionepal.gov.np. Keep listening to Radio Nepal and have a good day.